Oh, new so items we get are, are you expansion. a uh, in Paradise or uh, Dragon Valley? Um, <laughs> Alan Paradise or Dragon Valley? Either, both. Well, I, I can start. Um, so, Alan Paradise, you'll you'll find some new things in the, the debug menu. Like, what specifically are you interested in in there? I like the build items. Oh, well, I, I mean, there's going to be a bunch of new build mode stuff with Island Paradise. Uh, you know, I'm sure you've seen, you know, the stilted foundations. Um, you're going to have the ability to place the lots either partially on water or fully over water now, so you can make your own island if you wanted to even. Um, you know, the, the resorts are kind of all about build mode because you're going to have a lot of opportunities to, you know, create a resort exactly how you want. Um, there's a ton of new blueprints in there. Um, things like the ladders are going to be available for all players to use, so that's going to really change the way you get around your home. Um, we're adding a new spiral staircase that everybody's going to get, so that everyone will have access to those now. Uh, I, I, you know, I'm not sure what specifically is in by debug, you know, off the top of my head. Uh, I know that there are objects in there, so you'll find some things in there. Yeah, if you guys are getting hands-on, you know, just type in by debug and take a look at what's in there. In terms of the overall world, it's approximately the same size as other worlds. You're going to get the same amount of kind of real estate to play with, the same number of lots, although it is spread out over those multiple islands like you mentioned. Um, so basically there's the big main island where most of the activities are. We have kind of the side island where the, uh, you know, a lot of the, the beach dwellers live, that's where the beach resort is. There's a, there's a section where all the kind of natives of the island live and where you know people who've been there for a long time were uh, raised and then we have a lot of little kind of minor outlying islands that have lots on them but they're not necessarily you know big enough to have a road so you could have your house out there for example and have your own island and then the final thing is the uncharted islands and those if you've been playing the game today are kind of hidden by fog off in the distance and you find those in a lot of different ways so you know, some might be as easy as taking a boat and going out there and, you know, physically driving up to where you can find it. Um, others have kind of more interesting ways that you can acquire them. You know, maybe a mermaid needs you to one, or you go through an underwater cave and you pass through this tunnel and you come up under, uh, at the surface next to one. So there's going to be different ways to unlock those that you're just going to have to discover through gameplay. Okay, what are the Um, I don't think there are any. <laughs> yeah, like uh, to the best of my knowledge, everything with the houseboats, you know, if you can do it on a normal home, you can do it on a houseboat. Uh, the whole idea with those is that they're going to work, you know, just like a normal house. It's going to give you all the freedom, all the gameplay that you have in a normal home, plus the ability to drive around, which is really cool. <laughs> Jump it's good. Yeah, similar, similar to any home world that your sim lives in. Um, if you have The Sims 3 Seasons installed, uh, you can have any of the weather types in it. So if you really want a blizzard in your island paradise, you can do that. <laughs> um, but you know, with the options that came with that, that one, you can check off some seasons like fall or winter that might not make as much sense there. And then you can just have like a rainy season and a sunny season. Um, so yeah, you can play with it a little and get a get a climate that suits uh, the islands. <laughs> can you tell us much about the lifeguard career? Sure. <laughs> so lifeguard is a new active profession for Sims to join. So uh, similar to the careers, that, or sorry, the professions that came with the Sims 3 ambitions, uh, instead of going into a building, you actually play that profession and you're actively involved with it. So when your son goes to work as a lifeguard, uh, they kind of scan or survey the beach that they're assigned to. And like as they see them so drowning, they can go out, they can save them, you know, bring them back to the shore, help give them CPR. Some sims might be faking it, so you have to, you have to suss out the bad ones. But, um, you know, it's, it's all about saving the sims. And my absolute favorite thing about it is as you progress higher and higher in the career, you're going to unlock this slow motion run. 
and it's the sweetest like action run that you've ever seen your Sims do. Like as they're running down the beach, you know, of course they look super good, right? Because they're red, they're owned by the guards. But you know, all the other Sims like stop, and turn to look, and they're like, oh. <laughs> so it, it's a fun career. Yeah, so uh, mermaids, kind of the most common way for people to find those is going to be underwater on those scuba lots. So as you go scuba diving, you might run into a mermaid like I imagine you did. Um, and you can begin to socialize with them and build a relationship with them. And eventually, you could invite one in your household if you wanted to. Uh, but you do have other ways of either acquiring or becoming a mermaid. So. Um, let's say you wanted to make your perfect mermaid. You've got this vision for exactly what your mermaid's going to look like. Uh, you can make your sim, and then we have a lifetime reward. It's this magical kelp. Uh, when they eat that, it will turn into a mermaid. So you can change your sim that way. Or you can actually change them uh, through an interaction with one of the mermaids that's living in the world. Thank you. Thank you, Chris. Sure thing. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Can you build stilted resorts? Ah, oh, you can build resorts on stilts. Hello. Hi. <laughs> um, I do have one question. When you, <clears throat> excuse me, when you brought in Supernatural, you brought in the ability to create from Create a Sim all the different characters. You know, now you can create a ghost, you can create a werewolf, you can create all those. Is that ability, if you have a Sim, is your, are you going to be able to have that ability for mermaids? So unfortunately, no. Um, the the supernatural stuff really was mainly contained in that expansion, and I know players are really interested in that. But I've certainly seen the thing on the forums, you know, the petition that's been going for it. You know, we're, oh, we're I actually haven't alert. seen that, so <laughs> it was just a oh, question well. I had. <laughs> No, I mean, you know, I'm, I'm always on the forums. I like getting out, you know, amongst the community, chatting with people. And I know people are super interested in the mermaids. Obviously, they've never been in a Sims game before. People really want to get in there and immediately create them. Uh, unfortunately, having them in casts like that isn't really a trivial thing. Um, so it is pretty self-contained to what they did with the Supernatural expansion. Um, for players who want to make their own mermaid, uh, what you can do is, you know, create a sim that's, you know, exactly the mermaid that you want to have. And then once you're in game, you can actually uh, purchase this magical kelp as a lifetime reward, which will convert that sim into a mermaid. Oh, cool. um, so you do have the ability to make one. And then once they are mermaid, you can bring them back into create a sim. And then you can change things like their tail color, or if they're a female mermaid, you can change their uh, seashell bra. So testing cheats enable the truth. <laughs> <laughs> Thank That's you. That's one of the... I feel sorry for Lisa. She's getting the questions. <laughs> 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 questions, bless her. Who does it now? Good if you like. You've got double trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Don't record the screen, you're recording that. Yeah, we're ready for it. <laughs> yes, combine the Some of the stuff we've seen, some of the sets are not taking care of trash in the resort or cause, cause cockroaches. Are they going to have a normal resort? Normal oh, cockroaches. No, no, no. The, uh, the cockroaches are really just the thing for the resort. Um, actually, it's kind of funny when uh, we first mentioned that, you know, a lot of people are freaking out. Oh, cockroaches, you know, it's in three. Um, cockroaches <laughs> have actually been in the game since, you know, base game yeah. back in 2009. So we thought that was kind of funny. But they aren't going to randomly start showing up in your home if it's dirty or anything like that. It really is just for the resorts if you're not taking care of them. Um. Can we make undiscovered islands and create a world? So unfortunately, no. Uh, the, the hidden islands really are exclusive to Isla Paradiso. Um, because they have a lot of different ways to unlock them, um, honestly, it wouldn't surprise me if some talented modder out there <laughs> you know, unlocked the ability to make the hidden islands. But the, the deal with them is that You know, taking your boat near it and discovering it. Uh, uh oh. Uh -oh. Are you guys still hearing us? We yeah, just yeah, got yeah. something popping up there. Did you lose us? 
I used to hear us. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if we have to sit down. I think we're still here. My amazing 5 megapixel camera. Oh. They can't see. There we go. We can see you now. Bye. <laughs> 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 oh, yeah, talk about that. <laughs> so, where were we? So we were talking about uncharted islands, right? Okay, so yeah, so the, you can't make them and create a world um, just because they do have special properties. Kind of the fog effect is custom tailored to each of the hidden islands. Uh, the way they work is that you have different ways of unlocking them. So, you know, one might be driving a boat near it and you actually find it that way. Um, then there's some more special ones. So, you know, maybe a mermaid, uh, you form a good relationship with one and they lead you to an uncharted island or you uh, dive through one of the underwater tunnels and you surface up near, you know, right on the beach of an uncharted island. Uh, and there, there's a whole multitude of ways. I think we have nine different islands in there that are hidden that you can find and each one has a different way of unlocking it. Um, so they are kind of all custom and tailored just to Isla Paradiso. So yeah, you can bring a houseboat, uh, cats, dogs, horses, they all, they all <laughs> fit on there. <laughs> well, I'd have to say I wouldn't recommend putting a croissant just because horses are quite large and houseboat. I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> the horses can't actually fit across the gangway, so that the way they get on and off this boat is to take their own boat. Um, oh so my God. <laughs> Two thumbs up versus one thumbs up. But if you want to do it, you can totally do it. <laughs> um, will we be able to see houseboats from non player characters and ponies? And can we interact with them, such as waving the way past? Yeah, so the NPC Sims will live on houseboats, and when you first load into the world, uh, you'll actually see some of them are already living on houseboats. And they'll drive their houseboats around just like you can, and they'll move from port to port. Now, you won't have, I, I think you were asking, like, if two houseboats are passing each other, if you can, like, wave yeah. the other houseboat. You, you're not going to be able to do that. Um, if you want to go and interact with them, you will have to go, you know, visit them on their houseboat. Um, but you will see them driving around in the ocean. Okay. And one last one. This is for Lisa. Hi. Uh, Dragon Valley coming out. Is there any possibility that the Tiny Prodigies venue is going to get released as a standalone? Oh, nice. Move. Um, to a new just, town. Yeah. Move your Sims direct to a new town. Um, like, that's a good question. I don't know, but I can look into it. Please. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Let's speak of a dude. Did he go out? Yeah. Sit down. Come on. Yes, be strong and confident. We've got some more guys. Be confident. Oh, I'm doing more chat. Hey, how's it going? Alright. Uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> can you make my babies? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so if a mermaid and a sim really love each other. <laughs> yeah, so the, there is a chance for a baby to be born as a mermaid, yes. <laughs> I think that was the cutest way that question has been answered yet. I have a question for Lisa. Um, where did your inspiration for Dragon Valley come from? Um, so it, it came together in a really interesting way. Uh, we wanted to bring back the dragons from The Sims Making Magic, and it sort of started with them and what we could do with them, and then we sort of crafted the world around it. Uh, we planned it to be a Celtic medieval world, and then we wanted it to be more fun and fantasy, and then we wanted to try to make The Sims look like elves, and it's sort of like all these pieces came together to create what it was, but it started with, with the baby dragons. Okay. So unfortunately, no. Um, the thing with the underwater diving lots, uh, for them to work, we need a lot of room down there, kind of between the ocean floor and the surface of the ocean, just to give the Sims plenty of room to kind of go diving in. Um, so the, the world of Isla Paradiso actually has a much deeper ocean uh, than other worlds in Sims 3. 
So you can't just take one of the scuba diving lots and place it in another world um, because it needs more room than we have in the other worlds. Yeah. Um, will the giant squid, sharks, and mermaids automatically generate in other worlds, or will that not happen because? Ooh, man, that is a good question. Um, <laughs> do you follow me on Twitter? Yeah. Why don't you uh, send me a message afterwards? I'll look into that for you. I'll right. get an answer for you. Right, thanks. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Thank, Thank you very much. much. Thank you very much. Oh. Yeah, sure thing. Hi. Anyone else? Oh, that's mine. Stop it. That was mine. I need think some more questions. <laughs> I had loads of questions that I scared. Hi, Grace. Oh. Hi. And I can thank you as a person for the daffodils now. Okay. Okay. <laughs> um, one of my questions. So, are you Cinderella Mouse or Rotensis Sims? Rotensis. Oh, hi. I'm so happy to see you in person. <laughs> hi. Um, That's my phone. One of my questions is to Graham. Um, can all of the controllable supernaturals be, um, can they swim underwater? Um, yeah, as far as I know, you know, any any type of sim can um, don the scuba diving equipment and just go down there and wear the scuba skill. Okay, and also, um, do the seasons affect resorts in any way? If it's summer, do we get more guests uh, as opposed to when it's snow or winter? No, seasons doesn't have any particular effect on the resorts. Um, you know, similar to how it already works in game, uh, if it's snowing or raining, you're going to see less sims kind of out enjoying the amenities on the resort. But there isn't, say, like a, a resort season when all the guests want to come and stay in summer. Um, you will still get a steady flow of guests year round. Okay. And um, lastly, I noticed uh, in the trailer that uh, there appeared to be a broken hot tub. And I just mm -hmm. wondered, is that something that's across all of the hot tubs now, or was that just for the trailer? That, that's not new with uh, Island Paradise. Hot tubs always have the ability to break. I've obviously just been very lucky. <laughs> <laughs> so they, they actually get, they, they get kind of grindy when they break. They get this kind of tepid, green looking water. Uh, if you've never had it happen, you're I've never seen that before, no. Okay, that's lovely. Thank you very much. Sure thing. Hello. Hello. Hi. 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 Is that it for everyone? Yeah? Is that? Any more questions? Alright All right, guys, I think that's it. I think we've well used our um, half hour with you guys. So um, <laughs> it's been really good. Um, and I'm sure if the guys have any more questions, we can um, let you know and then get answers for them for that. Yeah. Yeah, totally. We're in the room. Okay. All right. Thank you guys. Thank you. Bye. 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 Was that helpful for everyone? Mm -hmm.